loves welcome back to another video this video is about having the one most efficient gadget in your kitchen instead of having very many for me it's all about my food processor now let's look at the versatility of a food processor and getting the most of it when you bring something new into your home it should not be because it was on sale or because you liked it ask yourself if you need it Everything should be an essential, a tool, or a treasure. Nothing else belongs in your home. Always be mindful of what you bring into your home. In my case, I think I'm mindful, and I know I desperately needed this purchase. So let me show you why. Now, these are my current food processor and blenders. This one is a Kenwood. It has lasted me many years, almost 10 years actually, but it is now worn with use. It has actually even cracked. As you can see, I have a lot of gadgets which can easily be pared down with some planning. I have a processor come blender and I also have separate blenders for smoothies and juices. And then I have this chopper, which was meant for convenience, but I need to let go of it now. I also have this grinder and I agree that having separate tools for different purposes is actually good because if one gets spoiled, you can still use the others. But when it comes to storage and efficiency, one item is so much better. But that's your call. Both have their advantages. For me, my blenders were taking up two shelves in my cabinet, which I'm sure I can put to better use. Anyway, I sent B on an online search for a new food processor slash blender. Some of our considerations were how much we would be able to use it because we have high usage how many items we can replace by purchasing that something that is more updated, and of course the function features, of course the time saved. Now, this is what we bought. We got this Kenwood Multi-Pro Compact Food Processor. I definitely wanted another Kenwood because I know it's hardy. I have used it for so many years. And this is the model number in case you're considering getting the same one. And it doesn't really matter which food processor you buy. The idea is to do as many little things as possible, such as chopping, grinding, making smoothies, whisking, grating, blending, all in one. Personally, I feel that the variety of functions a food processor provides makes it pretty much my favorite kitchen appliance. Oh, by the way, this video is not a sponsored video but just my personal purchase, which I would like to share. I have, however, used clips from Kenwood Global for illustration purposes. On a side note, once unpacked, consider recycling the packing, such as the bubble wrap and even the box. I mean, this is the eco-friendly thing to do. Plus, sturdy boxes such as these are great for storage. The next thing to deal with is the manual. In 2021, all manuals are available online. So there is really no need to keep this. We don't need any more paper in our homes. Just flip through the manual, look for anything you might want to have on hand before recycling. There is one page in this manual that I'm considering keeping, and that is this page. It explains the use of each accessory and also provides the setting and the time required. I feel this will be very useful to have handy. I did a bit of research when I was shopping around online and I realized that this one appliance would be able to make cooking a lot faster and easier for me. This particular model is definitely an update as it comes with more functions than my earlier Kenwood. Now this comes with a base, a glass jar, a two liter acrylic bowl, a glass grinder. It also has an S blade, a kneading blade, and these double-sided graters and slices. The wonderful thing is that it all attaches just to this one base. Multi-attachment appliances are ideal for storage purposes. Now the bowl is acrylic, but it is crack and shatter proof. I obviously didn't drop mine, but I'm using a demo clip for illustration. When buying anything, get the best that you can afford. Look out for the gadgets that will survive your usage. And of course, if it is acrylic or plastic, then you wanna ensure that it is shatter proof and it is BPA free. Another piece which comes in glass is the blender jar. I absolutely love this because I can now work on onions and also use it for juices 
without sniffing at it each time I want to use it. I really like the fact that it's a dual purpose and I no longer need two blenders. Another attachment that I'm really glad this includes is a grinder. This grinder is actually glass, unlike my earlier one, which was acrylic. The one thing about the old one is that it has gotten very stained and discolored, and I am just unable to clean it. I have tried many ways. There is also a strong spice smell, cumin actually, which is not really offensive in any way, but it makes it impossible to grind things like nuts for desserts without transferring that spicy aroma. So whether you are planning to get an all-in-one or just a grinder, consider getting a glass jar. Another new feature for me at least is this tiny double whisk. It can be used for whipping cream or whisking eggs. It makes it easier to do small amounts of food without having to use my cake mixer, which is really rather bulky. And it's such a versatile gadget, which can really replace quite a few separate ones. This gadget is also going to take up less space. Although it has many components, it only has one motor or base. And I have decided that this is going to be used to its full potential in my kitchen, so I'm honoring it with its own home on the countertop. I am, as you know, very selective about what I leave out. Now for all appliances, the rubber foot stoppers should be tight and secure, ensuring the gadget doesn't move or slip. Every gadget needs a home, of course it does. So while I'm sitting the motor right here, there are many parts which I still need to store. Now I personally don't like keeping different parts of the same equipment in different areas. So unless I'm never going to use a particular attachment, only then will I keep it in deep storage just to make sure that, you know, I want to keep the set complete in case I decide to pass it on. So some models come with an accessory organizer and I'm still trying to source one, but for now, and if you don't want to source one, you can use any organizer box. I'm using my old bread box. It was too small for our breads and was always overflowing and therefore it was lying in storage. Now I'm going to put all the accessories into this box. I also decided to keep the accessories from our ricer in here. You can also add in other attachments like for example from your sandwich maker which has the waffle maker as well as the panini press. So you can put all those in here as well. This way, you can easily access what you need, and easy access means being able to use it more frequently with ease. Since my older Kenwood blades can still be used on this new machine, and they are frankly brand new, speak of limited use, I have never used them. I'm going to clean them and keep them for additional slicing and shredding options, like the thickness and the lengths. Now back to that manual, I did save one page of the manual, which I have laminated. This is for quick reference to the accessories needed, the recommended function, along with the maximum time it should run before giving it a pause. Now having this information available will avoid spoilage, especially saving the motor from burning out. So keep this useful guide with the accessories so it's always there. However, before you get busy experimenting with your new best friend, whatever it is you have bought, remember to go online and sign up and activate your warranty. That is very important. Washing a blender is actually quite easy. Instead of trying to scrub the blades to remove the residue, just half fill the jug with some water, add in some dish soap and give it a run. I saw this method on another channel and personally, I find it very effective. So my loves, whether you're buying a food processor or any appliance, be willing to invest some time researching your buy and always get one which will help you to the maximum. Store it conveniently so you never struggle or hesitate to get it out. And always have the accessories close to the appliance. In my case, this entire project has helped me empty out a full shelf in my cabinet. And in the next video, I will share my new setup for this cabinet. And until then, this is Ravina saying, happy homemaking.